Hello and welcome back to another episode of Bandit Fishing UK. Uh, today I'm doing a bit of match fishing, something a bit different. Uh, hopefully from this video I'm going to give you a couple of tips and thoughts and how I think my way through, uh, through a match in order to try and get the best result possible. It's only a small club match, there's only uh, 11 of us today. So the rod's out. I missed the first, I missed the slack line on the first cast on squid. Got a bit of crab out now, hoping for a smooth hound. Fingers crossed, we get a few fish. And I'll uh, talk you through some tips and my thoughts as we're going through the day. So the rules of the match that we're fishing today um, is measure and release. Anything over 15 centimetres counts. Okay, pop him on a ruler, mark it down on your cards, get it signed and witnessed. And then the winner is the uh, overall length, total length of fish. So, tactic wise today, I'm thinking of smooth out. So, that's going to be my approach for the first maybe hour and a half, two hours, is try and get a smooth out. out. Um, if they're about in numbers, you can really rack up a, a big length with those. Failing that, there should be strap eels around. I've got some fish baits as well that can just quickly change tactics to get the uh, to target the straps. So just had this small strap conga. Hopefully you can see him by right there. So basically, as you can see, we've got a measure stick, a meter measure stick. Just pop him on there. Tip for you: if you lay him upside down. They do calm down a little bit. Um, we can try and get them upside down again now. But get his nose on the end and up to the top. And we can see he's just touching 55. There's his nose on to the top, 55. So here's my first fish on the board. We'll get him unhooked and get him back. So my second fish today, uh, again fall into the crab, another strap eel. Good in these sorts of matches because as you can see they're very long, so your length adds up very quickly. So the both fish I've had so far have both fallen into the shorter pulleys. I'm using two pulleys, a longer one of 30 inches and these shorter ones of 18. So because the fish have, have come to those two, two rigs, I'm probably going to focus my attack now on the shorter rig. That seems to be what they well the sort of movement they're preferring today. So we'll get this one measured, tally it all up, and hopefully we'll have a few more.
third fish, another very small eel. But the lead's adding up slowly. Um, no one else I've seen catch it. I've seen one other bit. I've only been with, with Jason. He's had one eel himself early on. Um, about the same sort of size as that one, to be honest. So just keep plugging on and let's build this tote bill slowly. And hopefully we, can, we will find a hub just to give it that big boost that it needs. Sticking with the crab because I am picking these eels up on the crab as well. So stick with this and uh, let's see how it goes now. Here's my third fish uh, on the measure, coming in at 52. So doing all right to the minute. Three fish. Um, tide's turned now. It's getting a bit lumpy. We're going to fish hard, and uh, for the next two and a half hours, we've got this of left of this, and um, hopefully we can pick up a couple of more congas and. Uh, get this length built up uh, to a respectable amount. Just a few tips for you when you are fishing matches. Of course, your venues are already predetermined by the, uh, by the organizer. So, have a think when you are going to these venues of what you're looking to catch. But we're on obviously rough ground today and this, this, this stretch of coastline will hold dogfish, rocklin, congas, smooth out, bass. So you want to tailor make you want to tailor make a, an approach and an attack to try and target those fish. You might want to have a couple of you might want to want to have plan A and plan B just in case you can't or in case plan A doesn't come off as the day show. The hounds haven't shown up. But I have got into a couple of congas that I knew would be here. So it's about adapting, finding out what's, what's catching. You can go out and do practice sessions on a venue if you really wish. Um, it can help to locate fish, especially like pack fish, like smooth outs. Um, and then really tailor make your sort of rig preparations for that. Now, today I've got three rig, or three, three rig wallets full. Two are full of my, uh, sorry, one's full of my hound rigs, a second full of conga rigs, and a third one with three up clipped down to scratch it. I haven't had to revert to the three hookers yet today, but if things do prove tricky throughout the flood, I might put a couple of small fish baits out, they might be pouting and things like that out there, see? All you want to do is get that, is keep the, keep your tally ticking over. So I'm gonna plug I'm gonna plow on and hopefully have a couple more. So just had another conga, uh, only a small one, same as the first 55 centimetres. Um, my total now is 222, 222. Had a little bit of a move because the swell's picking up and it's getting a bit difficult to keep the uh, keep holding bottom. So moved up to a bit of a high ledge. Switched over to some herring baits as well to see if we can produce some better conga eels. Um, I think another two or three fish might be a sort of winnable length. Let's just hope I can do that in the next hour and a half. So 
didn't get a chance to do an outro on the beach. Um, the waves and the tide really picked up, bringing a lot of weed. It was very difficult fishing in the in the last hour and a half, as you can see from that last clip there. Um, I had three casts on that new new little venue. I had three we three or three snap offs. Not great at all. Shouldn't have left the um the first little part that I fished. Um, they were conga there. I should have carried on fishing for them and uh, just persevered with the with the waves. But nevertheless, finished second with the, with the two hundred and twenty two centimeters with all those four fish. Only twelve centimeters behind first, so one more fish would have uh, would have given me the win. Um, but it was an enjoyable session, and that's just nice to get out, really, isn't it? Um, and it's a vital six points into the into the this year's championship. So even though there's no prize money, it's always just nice to get out. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. As always, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you again shortly. All the best and tight lines.